Hey, Clayton Bates here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a sale collection for your Shopify website. Now, this will only be for sale collections. If you want a more detailed video about collections, the first link in the description will go over everything about collections. This one's just about sale. Also, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. Most people say they're Shopify experts, but I'm actually authenticated and registered by Shopify. There's not many of us in the world and there's hardly any of us actually on YouTube and hundreds of millions of dollars that went through the websites I've built. So with that being said, let's get into it. I know your time's valuable, so I try to be as fast as possible. So when you're in your Shopify website here, you click products and then you click collections and this is going to open up all your collections. You go to the top right and click create collection. Now you can call this sale but i like to say on sale totally up to you. you can write sale if you want then you can put a description here whoops that was the video uh, for the last video um, but basically this is like a word uh, word document so you can put description here what i normally recommend is you only have one or two sentences here it's really good for seo to really build out this we have multiple paragraphs and things like that. But when I build a website, I'm, I'm thinking about user experience. And normally if this description is too long, then it's on a mobile phone. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff at the top of the page before they actually get to the products. And if you think about an on sale collection, most people, they're just, they already know what you're about. They, they seen sale. They like come here. They want to get a discount sort of thing. So that's why, especially on this collection, I don't like to have a lot of uh, text and stuff here. Now you could manually put, make this collection. The other video I made in the description, I uh, will go through how manual collections work. I personally don't think you need to use manual collection for this, but some circumstances you might. Uh, I normally recommend doing automated. Now there's two conditions you wanna put here for on sale. You want to put inventory stock is greater than zero. So that's going to pull all the products that have inventory. Uh, and then you want to do this condition here. Compare at price is greater than 10 cents, for example. Now, what this is going to say to the, the site is, one, the condition has to have inventory. Two, if it's on sale, it will go here. So when you do a compare at price on your products, it will go here. So any, any products that have compare at price will come straight here. You have to select all conditions, which is selected. And so it just picks both of them and then press save. <clears throat> now, all of our products that are on sale uh, will, will be here. You can click sort by newest, oldest, manual, so you can actually manually put them wherever you want. Um, normally I, I put best sellers at the, at the top, even for sale. And if you're wondering what a compare app price is from up here, if you click into the product here, and then you just scroll down, you, we'll just edit here. See how there's two prices here, compare app price and then price. So this is what you sell it for, and this is what it originally was. If, if this price isn't here, then that means it's just a normal price. If, the, if there's a compare at price here, it's slashing out the price and then selling it for this. So that's what compare at price is. Now, if we go back to our sale collection and click review, we'll open up the collection right here. Now, on other videos, I've said stuff where uh, you can add conditions to put sold out stuff here. But especially on sale, I like to never have sold out stuff on sale because when people are going here, they're getting a good discount. Normally when people promote this sale page, especially if they're making a lot of money and stuff, and if they're only rarely ever doing it, people go there and it's like a frenzy sort of thing. So the bigger the brand you are, the more frenzy this page normally is. So I like to just completely remove uh, sold out stuff just to make it super simple for these people here as well. I don't think I said, but you can change the SEO down here if you press edit. Uh, if enough people leave comments, I'll make a detailed video about how to do the SEO on pages and stuff like that. 
Um, but basically that is how to add a sale collection. Uh, the more detailed one is in the description. If there's any other videos you want me to make, let me know in the description. I've made about 30 or 40 uh, by the filming this video that are slowly being released on YouTube. So your comments make a really big difference. And the more people that leave comments asking for certain videos, the more chance I'll make that video. And if you follow along all the way, you'll probably be able to build a pretty decent Shopify website. So until next time, have a good one and talk to you soon. Bye.